Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video we're going to take a look on the cheapest USB OTG device that allows you to use your smartphone only Android unfortunately it doesn't support iOS and it transforms it to an FPV screen so I have these two other devices and today we're going to take a look at the cheapest one which cost about $29. This is a very basic package inside we're getting only two things actually three one micro USB cable cheap antenna and we're getting also the USB the OTG device this one comes with a heat shrink on it it's not it doesn't feel as expensive as the quality as this two in addition we have here this button which doesn't feel so durable and it allows you to switch channels and to scan for the best signal in order to use it first you will have to put the antenna this is an RP SMA antenna then you connect the USB cable now first you will have to download drivers for the Android the driver is suitable for all these three devices so first you download the drivers I will put a link in the description unfortunately it's not assigned APK and you will have to download it for uh, you will have to install an untrusted uh, source if you're not into the if you're afraid of uh, security wise so you're not going to be able to use these devices after you do install the drivers you can install this go FPV application and it's you can use it with all with these three devices and it's free to use then you just have to connect it to the USB port if you have a USB type C port you will have to buy an adapter I will put a link in the description as well then you will hit play and then it just turns on you can also use one screen if you press this button short pressing the button here is going to change channels and if we long press it it's going to start scanning similar with the other devices. I'm going to connect the camera to show you how it works. Now in order to make the test fair, I'm going to use the same camera on the same settings. So we're gonna put it on F7 and we're going to put it on the highest settings which is 200 milliwatt. This is the Ishin TX03. So it's 200 milliwatt. We'll face it that way. We're going, we're going to perform a latency test. So let's scan for the best signal. And after it finds the best signal, it just returns to it. And this graph is going to be gone in a second. So the FedTrack 7 is 5860, and it found the best one in 5863. So it means we're good. Recording DVR is done by pressing this button here. So now it's recording DVR. You can also press this button and then you can use it with FPV goggles. You can also change the, the size of the screen using these buttons. So let's perform a quick latency test. Okay, so in order to make it fair, I'm going to use the same device and the same app and the same camera and the same band just to check the delay so I'm gonna put it here so it's gonna be easy for us to read the camera gets a little bit hot because it's on 200 milliwatts so let's start the stopwatch you can also pause the video for yourself and see but the average delay that I'm seeing is about 51 milliseconds which is pretty good So the latency result we've got was actually pretty impressive. I didn't think it's going to be 52, 53 milliseconds. So that's surprising. Um, the quality, the build quality is not that good comparing to the other uh, devices which I've reviewed. Uh, it doesn't feel, it feels a bit cheap, but we'll have to take it outdoors and see how it performs in order to fairly judge it. And we'll see on the next video how this most expensive one compared, this one costs almost $50 versus this one cost about $28. So we'll see how it compares and we'll take it in the end of this video, a series of videos and check 
how it performs outdoors. We're gonna do a range test and we're going to see how the DVR compares. I'm going to put side by side video, video samples from, that will be recorded using these three devices. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and see you on the next videos. Goodbye.